Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Telescope Sign. My name is Daniel Mouncey, a.k.a. Dr. D, your host. Um, I'm going to go over, just give you a brief overview of the new Takahashi FC100DC uh, and Takahashi FC100DF. Ex uh, briefly explain some of the differences here for you and uh, to share. Uh, first, both are still adaptable to astrophotography, if you wish. The fluoride elements, uh, these are fluoride refractors, which is really a, a special thing because, you know, fluoride uh, is a very rare element we see in uh, telescopes these days. Back in the day when the FC series uh, were available and the FS series Takahashi's, which were prior uh, to these, they had fluoride. And then they uh, went to triplets. Um, these are great visual instruments. You can still do some photography with them, although uh, astrophotographers may be more interested in color correction. So you will see some trifling amounts of color if you were to image with these, and of course you would need fill flattener uh, as well to straighten out your stars. They're fairly fast at f7.4, uh, 740 millimeter focal lengths on them. Um, the basic difference between the two is that the focuser that comes on the DC model, the focal lengths and everything are the same, the tube is basically the same thing, the optics and everything, it's just the backside, the focusers. On the DC model you have uh, basically inch and a quarter provisions, whereas on the DF model you have a two inch um, uh, focuser. Now you can, what I've done here is if you want to convert this uh, DC to a two inch, you have the option to do so. Um, the draw tube on here, and if you look at the two, the draw tube here, you'll notice the draw tube is wider on the DF model. So in essence, you get a larger image circle, say if you were to use a larger sensor. Um, but you still can uh, use it visually with a two inch adapter on the DC. And if you were to look between the two, it would make no difference. The image circle, the size of the draw tube is primarily for imagers who want to use, like I said, use larger uh, sensors. Uh, where it's an issue. It, this thing is more well suited for like monochrome or one shot color with a DSLR. You know, if you want to get into serious uh, CCD work, uh, there's optional field flatteners you can use with this, but you'd probably want to get yourself a nice triplet with a, you know, with a um, field flattener uh, corrector uh, for it to do that kind of stuff. But if you look here, you'll notice, I'm going to just hold this up for your own so you can see it. If you look at that silver draw tube right there, and by the way, these use rack and pinion focus underneath. There's good and bad examples of rack and pinion focusers, just so you're aware. It isn't necessarily that one is better than the other. You have to remember that. But you see the draw tube on here is a little bit narrower. And if you look here, this one is a little bit more well suited for the imaging in the sense that the larger, uh, uh, has a provision for a larger sensor if you want. You notice the draw tube is a little bit wider on that model. I think that's pretty obvious there. Um, so you have a nice smooth, buttery smooth rack and pinion focus here and you'll see how that moves. It's, it's very little amount of draw on that that you can work with there. It stops right about right about there is where it stops. And here, as you're going to notice there should be more travel here and you'll see there's quite a limitless amount of travel here. So if you're imaging there's going to be more play there to work with on there. But what's really nice is it's extremely portable. The, uh, compared to the FS-102, the, the diameter of the tube on the FS-102 is the diameter of the dew shield on here, just to give you an example. So this has really been uh, refined as far as size is concerned, and part of the way of doing that is to remove all the knife edge baffles in there uh, and do it a different way so that it uh, isn't occupied uh, by those and make to force you to have to make the tube bigger. If you ever ask, what is, you're curious, what is the difference between the two? Uh, your DC is going to be for your, generally for your uh, come as a uh, inch and a quarter uh, configuration, not for two inch. So this one will come out of the box and allow you to use two inch, uh, a two inch diagonal, and this one right out of the box will allow you to use inch and a quarter right out of you know right out of the box. Like I said, the TOA 0040 adapter you can attach and that will allow you to use the two inch star diagonal with the DC model. So you still have that option up, you know, in the future. Also, it's a, you know, a few hundred dollars less for the DC model. So that might be uh, worth considering and you can put that money into the, maybe the finder bracket um, or the tube ring or, you know, the two inch uh, adapter if you wish. So a few bucks are saved there. There's also a provision 
If you look here, that allows you to add the 6x30 or 7x50 finder bracket. You can use either finder with the, either of these telescopes. They're perfectly fine. There's also a clutch on top here so that if I want to, you know, set it at a certain focus and not have it slip or anything in the dark, go ahead and just kind of tighten that and that will hold that thing down. Each uh, focuser and each tube is serialized. Um, hope this video helps you out. If you have any more questions, you can call us toll free at 888-427-8766 and ask for Dr. D. That's me and I'll be more than happy to help you.